This is a bobbin case from my 1950s Necky vintage sewing machine. It holds the bobbin thread, which is the lower thread. When you see stitching, you're gonna see the top thread and the bottom thread, and this is the bottom thread that is part of the stitching. And I'm gonna load the bobbin now. So the thread goes, this has to go a certain way when it's placed in the bobbin holder, which is clockwise. Goes in here, and then there's this little slit. Clicks up into this opening right here. You can adjust the tension, which is the grip that this little case has on this thread and it has this little this little screw right here which I turn with my fingernail left or right and that holds it so a good tension is when it holds it in place but it also is oops, sorry is barely falling like this so you can kind of shake it like a yo-yo and it falls a little bit, but it doesn't just straight drop. And that is the correct tension. This is the bobbin holder that is underneath the machine. It's on the side underneath here. In modern machines, they're up towards the top and you load the just this bobbin by itself, the little wheel into the holder but this there we go that's the placement of it this bobbin thread <clears throat> is now down here but it needs to be up here through the top and to do that you take the thread up here, the top thread, and use it as like a fishing line to catch the bobbin thread. So I'll show how that works. It's pretty cool. So this thread is going to come down. The needle's going down. And you're gonna see it catch the bobbin thread. Waha, there it goes. It caught the fish, and now the fish is coming up. You see it's looped up there, right here. And then you take that and get the fish up into the boat. So now it's ready. To sew because both those threads are at the top. Ta da!